those ominous calls you can hear a male red deer gearing up for the most important time of their lives. The rut. In the heart of central London lives the largest land mammal in the whole of the UK, the red deer. Throughout most of the year, they live a relatively simple life with lots of eating and sleeping. After casting their antlers in early spring, the males then put all of their energy into regrowing them. These antlers are definitely their most distinguishable feature. They are highly branched and the branches increase with age. Not only do these antlers look impressive, but they serve a very important function. For the months leading up to October, the males have been preparing for the most important fight of their lives winning access to a group of fertile females. As autumn approaches, their calm, peaceful life is no more. The stag's sole focus is to win over a mate, or in the case of red deer, multiple mates. But what is it that gives them the upper hand? In red deer, size matters. The biggest, most mature males tend to have access to the largest group of females. A single male can have access to up to 40 hinds. It is rare they will even get to the stage of sizing each other up because they have a much more clever way of telling this whilst keeping a safe distance away from a fight. Their roar is used as the first line of defence. It is reflective of their size. The deeper the roar, the larger the stag. In the lead up to the rut, changes take place within the stag's body to help aid the loudness of their roar. Testosterone increases, doubling the thickness of their neck and making their larynx more prominent. Although a bellow may act as a warning to hopeful contenders, a fight may be worth it to help secure a mate. A hopeful male will approach and walk parallel to his contender, sizing one another up. If neither stag decides to back down, a battle will commence as the two lock antlers and fight. Although this may look dramatic, this is a ritualised fight with the aim of deciding who's boss, rather than inflicting damage. However, when they're unable to assess dominance by other means, serious injury can occur. After an intense battle, one male will eventually back down, allowing the other to claim victory over the females. This stag has just won exclusive access to mating. Young bachelor groups of males linger around the outskirts of the herd, and when the main dominant male is occupied, they creep in to try their luck. Before the final stage of courtship, the stag must ensure that the female is an estrus and ready to mate.
To determine this, he will lift up his upper lip as if tasting the air, allowing him to smell the female's hormones. This is known as the Fleming response. The winning stag will proceed to mate with as many females as possible, fathering many offspring and ready for the battle to commence again the following year.